Hello, Moondoggy here, and I'm kind of late on this, which was my fault because, like I said, I got, I got caught up and uh, things are still catching me up, but I'm trying my best to get me back into organized the uh, best way I can. But right now, we're going back to a VR review of the lab because I never got the chance to do the lab. So um, today, we're going to do the lab now. So let's get in. So, as for the immersion of the game, I really love the immersion. It really made me feel like I was like some would-be scientist or the, the tester for the scientist or whatever you would your, take your pick. Use your imagination. And uh, it really makes you feel like, yeah, welcome new scientist or whoever you are. This is your dish. This is your little lab. And we have some specific items that we would like you to test and give us your full analysis on and whatever, whatever. And that's really how I really looked at the game and really took appeal to it. So I really enjoyed that. I kind of wish the lab had more, like I, I would have liked Valve to make the lab like a, a foundation game where it's a free game, but it's, it's getting constantly updated with new items we can use and play around with or new games we can play with. And, and like I said, it's nothing special. Like uh, we, when I did postcards, it was just looking at the scenery, which was perfectly fine. And I can understand they did more updates where it could be a moment where we're using a gun or it could be a moment where we just had a would-be petting suit and it's so on and so forth. Like they, they can go on and on and on. So I honestly believe like the immersion of that was really, really well done. So. Um, in the end phase of it all, uh, obviously besides that one incident with Secret Shop when uh, the game was lagging out, um, other than that, the Emergent was like with, with pretty phenomenal, so I, I can really give them their credit for Emergent. So, going into gameplay, I really like the gameplay, especially for uh, a lot of the games, because, post, like I said, once y'all obviously watching the video, I was... 50-50 on postcards, so it wasn't good, it wasn't bad either. And then uh, I really enjoy Longbow. I, I, I'm a, I, love, I love my archery games. I love them. And uh, which I have a lot of archery games coming up for you guys. And uh, moving from the archery game, it was like a it was like a, a arcade starship game, which I thought that was really good, very inventive, and it really gave me a, a, a funny way of thinking that. Uh, that's something that can actually be in like people's households where they use their TV remote to send and so on and so forth. Like that, that's something that could be actually very well, you know, marketed just just on GP. Just on GP, like a family, you know, a family little game night and see how long they can survive and stay. It could be it could be themed out to Star Wars. Did need to actually get the jump on this. Which um, if they do, I want some credit because it's my idea. <laughs> I really enjoyed that, uh, the catapult one where you shoot the horns, I thought that was a really good one too. Granted, accuracy is kind of hard in that game a little bit, because it's really hard to judge your accuracy. It's really hard to judge it without trial and error. Trial and error is annoying. And um, the learning of the human body was good. Um, I didn't understand uh, robot retail concerning the fact of the matter that I know it was named after portal, but I didn't understand the fact of the matter that uh, I noticed that my game screen swapped screens, so I didn't understand that. Oh, that was just like a default change in like the lab itself is like using a different software to run Portal. But who knows? I did not know. And then I like the solar system because uh, I, you get to look at your uh, solar system. I, I like to look at them, and my favorite planet is Neptune, of course, because the blue planet. You can't really knock that, so uh, that, that that's that's something I really gave it credit for. But obviously, as you already know about the secret shop, that game lagged the hell out. Granted, it was interesting to say the least if it worked. It was interesting to say the least. Granted, I was I was indirectly terrified because uh, granted, I'm a fan of Harry Potter. I personally personally would probably be the most scariest cat there, considering that that place would freak me the hell out to no end. And all it would have took is a giant spire to pop out of nowhere. I would have been done with the game immediately. So obviously, I couldn't get the full experience of it per se. But for what it's worth, 
I could give it, I'm gonna give it this credit where, you know, it's due credit, but it, it did have all, all ultimately potential, so. But other than that, though, the gameplay, it all, it all fed together, and I really enjoyed that. I even enjoyed, the, like, the little perk where you can take a, a item, a memento of each of the levels, and I thought that was really good. Like, a little memento, which my favorite memento was the bow, of course, I got to shoot off staff members, and then it's, it's fun that you can play fetch with your, your little robot dog, that, that was a really good addition, very, really good. So, other than that, I thought the gameplay was very well done, right? So now we move to the concept of the lab, which again I got to kind of mix the concept into uh, into the uh, gameplay where I, the concept of it is basically the thing itself that the labs so you're, you're, you're testing all these you know these things and getting a result out of them, and I kind of enjoyed that concept because uh, it, it really. It gives you two perspectives where you're playing it just to play, but then some people who have a very imagine a very imagine, imaginative uh, mindset would look at the game more like, okay, let me actually get a good analysis of this game because if I was to play this game and have people like you guys play it, not people like you guys, but like you know people who are interested, it would be nice to actually have your full opinionated idea of would the game be worth it or would I even want to play half the game that's in it. Like, perfect, perfect example, like, if I was to highly recommend it, yeah, I would highly recommend it, and I would actually give each video game, or each mini game, it's fair due of opinion where I like the long book. Highly recommend it. Not so big on the postcards. Don't, you can play it out, but don't, you don't expect to get into it. Something like that, so I can really understand, like, the concept of really, what they were trying to go with that. And it was a well done, to say the least. I really can't say much about concept because, like I said, I think I grouped it with gameplay, but the concept was pretty good. And lastly, going into overall, is the gameplay replayable, and whether or not, like, you know, a bad opinion of it being replayable. First of all, overall, it's a good game. Like, even in my last episode, I gave it a C plus because it's not bad. But it's not good either. That's how it, that's how it works. So overall, I would say it's replayable because it, it, there would be at least like one game you really, really enjoy. And that might be like your only motivation of keeping the game because you do enjoy that mini game. But no it's thing. Like, you know, it's like me, let alone both. I, I don't even like I even still got the game downloaded, to be honest with you. So that's my really my spill on that. But overall the game is okay. Like for for, for you new guys playing VR. I'm still a new guy myself, but for you new guys playing VR, um, I highly would recommend the game for you. So. Um, but other than that, um, I really hope you enjoyed this review, and I really hope it helped anybody who decides to play the game. And until then, everybody, thank you all for watching, and please continue on watching. And as always, I will see all of you when the next moon rises.